All right, under your notes of systems and equations, Lucas, if I can have your attention, you and Nick and John. All right, we're, we're talking systems of equations, ladies and gentlemen. Systems of equations. So far, we have two different ways. The first one, the most archaic way, was the graphing one, where you had to actually drew the lines and see where they cross. The second one was what we did the last couple of days, that was by substitution. And those always still work. But the easiest by far is the way we're talking today, and that is by what's called elimination. And you may get some sort of a clue about what we're trying to do just by the title of that. To eliminate certainly means Jackson just to. Get rid, of get rid of, get rid of. And it's based on this simple math truth. If you have two equations, and I'm just going to make up like 2 plus 6 is 8, and another math equation, which might be 3 plus 9 is 12, if you add both of those equations together, you get 5 plus 15 equals 20 you get another true equation. Okay? If you add, and it really makes sense because if you add two equal things together, you get something else that's equal. Equal things to equal things are all equal. Well, that's what you're going to do with your uh, equations, your systems of equations. But your goal, your goal is to eliminate one of the variables by adding the equations together. At some point, there'll be, there'll be a gasp of astonishment that you actually had to do it the other two ways. But it's not as easy as it might turn, sound to begin with. For example, if I look at this first one here, I'm going to rewrite that somewhere here. I'm just going to put another square on the top of my stuff here. For example, this first one here. Negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 12, and a 4x plus 8y equals negative 24. If I were right now to add these two equations together, a minus 4x and a plus 4x, equals here, me gives me? Zero, nothing, no x's. It actually, this gets eliminated. Well, I still have a 8y and a minus 2y, which gives me a negative 6y. A negative 24 and a negative 12 is a negative 36. And voila, <coughs> divide by 6, divide by negative 6. y equals, a pop, did I do something wrong? Negative 6. Oh, it's a positive 6, sorry. And voila. Y equals a negative 6. And look, it's solved. Yay! For one letter. You still have to go back. You're still going to have to put this in for the letter Y in one of these two equations and see what the letter X is. So, unfortunately, that it, this part actually becomes a little more tedious, but not so much. Negative 4X minus 2 times what Y is equals negative 12. You end up with a negative 4X plus 12 equals negative 12, subtract 12, subtract 12, you get negative 24. Negative 4 to negative 24, x equals a positive 6. And y equals a negative 6. Make change. What if you do not eliminate? Well, we'll get to that. I'll answer that in a, in a shortly. Questions over what we did here first. Chris. Sure. For example, for x after you have y, how do you know it's a question? It doesn't matter. Pick either one of these two. Put in your whatever variable you solve for and find the other one. It doesn't matter. Pick the easiest one would be my guess. Jackson? So for the elimination one, you're always going to be solving for y. No. You're going to solve for the one that you didn't eliminate. Because you get your choice. Maybe maybe that y's were eliminated, then you'd solve for x. It doesn't, there's no, just because this one happened to be that way. Staring in amazement there. Mesmerized they are. All right, uh, let's let me let's talk about this for just a second here. Okay, 
If you look at this one, obviously when you put these together, what's going to go away? X. X, because they're opposites. If you do this, which one's going to go away? The Y, because the negative Y and the positive Y, when you add them together, you'll be left with X's. If you do this one, add them together, the X's are going to go away. If you do this one, no, you add these together, you're going to get a positive, or you're going to get negative 6X, and you're going to get negative 18Y, and you're going to get a negative something there. So let's look at that one. Because here's the deal with that. Here is the deal with that. When you get to a problem that looks, where'd it go? What was it, 5? what I got here. When you get to a problem like that, okay, you, because you're your own boss, need to figure out what to multiply one of the equations by to get something to drop out. In other words, this, another rule in math is you can multiply an equation by something as long as you multiply everything by it. For example, I'm just going to pick, because these are both nines, I am going to multiply everything on this bottom equation by a negative one, which I don't like to do that there. Negative one, negative one, negative one. You are allowed to do that in math. As long as you multiply everything by the same thing, it's going to be. So this ends up being a positive 4x, a positive 9y, and a positive 23. You can change the equations by what you'd like to get them to kind of match up to what you want. As long as you multiply everything by that, you can multiply by the same thing. And we've done that forever. Nick Shanks? Could you multiply the top by negative 2? Yes. And we'll get to one that works out like that. But I just I just did this because there were already nines and I didn't have to worry about you. Matter of fact, there's going to be times, children, when you're going to have to multiply both of them by something. Ooh, let's, we'll go to that again. So let's do the whole thing again. Adding these together, a negative 2x and a positive 4x gives you a 2x. The nines cross off. By the way, if something doesn't cross off, there's no point in going on. You did something wrong. And then that equals what? A negative 2. So x is going to equal a negative 1. And once again, it doesn't matter. You could pick any of these three equations to put the negative 1 back into to find the y. It doesn't really matter. Let's pick the top one because it's there. Negative 2 times a negative 1 minus 9y equals a negative 25. You get a positive 2 minus 9y equals negative 25. Subtract 2, subtract 2, you get a negative 27 equals negative 9y. So y equals a big, fat, juicy 3. Again, you can stop me there. So we can count. Will, ever, will we ever have like x equals like 6 over In your life or today? I don't know, maybe. Like the exact number 600? No, just I mean, Number five. bigger than 2 or 3? Yeah, and in the real world, it, it may or may not. Probably not right away. Someday you will. Now, let's go to right to the top here. Let's go right to the last problem here. Let's see what we got here. Maybe they don't give you a hard one here. Actually, I don't. Well, maybe they do. Number 21. Number 21, ladies and gentlemen, let's discuss number 21. Remember, your ultimate goal is to get one of those to go away, either the x term or the y term. If I have this, I have 5x plus 4y equals negative 14, and I have 3x plus 6y equals 6. Okay. I want something to go away, which just means they have to be opposite. If this is a positive 5, this would have to be a negative 5. If this was a positive 6, I'd have to be a negative 6 or whatever. You have to figure out what to do to get opposite numbers for the letters there. Last time we just had to multiply by a negative 1 and we had opposites, but this time is not so much. Lauren Davenberg? Well, and there's endless possibilities. Well, I was talking about the common 
like whatever. Yes, yeah, so the least common multiple of one of these is what you're looking so for. I like if like they were fractions of common denominator. So you would use what? The four and the sixteen. Which would mean twelve. I want both of these to be twelves, but I need one of them to be an opposite. So one of them needs to be a negative. And it doesn't matter which one you want. Pick. Okay. So uh, for this top one to be 12, I have to multiply everything by a 3. And for the bottom to be a negative 12, I'd have to multiply everything by a negative 2. And you're going to get two brand new equations that really are the same thing, but they'll end up being 15x plus 12y equals negative 42 for the top one. The bottom one, multiplying by a negative 2, you get a negative 6x minus 12y equals negative 12. And if you end up with negative opposites or opposites, then you get what you want, and the problem will magically solve it pretty much itself. 9x, these cross off, equals a negative, we hope this works out, 54. X is going to equal a negative 6. And again, it doesn't matter. Any of the four equations you put up here, you can put that negative 6 in for X for. Let's just do the first one. 5 times negative 6 plus 4 times Y equals negative 14. You get a negative 30 plus 4Y equals negative 14. Add 30, you get 16. 4Y equals 16. Y equals 4. And you will want to cut a few corners here, but I can tell you the more corners you cut, the more you'll get confused or do something goofy. Like you won't want to put these here, you just want to do it. Just some, There's a lot of places you can kind of just lose track of what you're doing. Questions there, Nick Shanks? Can you do a 5? Yep. You could have done a negative 3 and a positive 5. Or any combination would have worked. You know, it doesn't even have to be the least one. You could do a 6 here and a 10 there. As long as you get options that don't not be a mentor. But this is by far much easier. Could you imagine if you had to do this by substitution? You would have to solve one of these for something. Well, you could solve this one for x. Plug it into the Or if you had to graph them. If you had to graph something like this, what would you graph up to? How would you graph that? Oh, that's a tough question. Using what method would you graph that? Uh, um, yeah, the x-y-intercept one puts 0 in for y, x crosses the x-axis at 2, puts 0 for x, crosses the y-axis at 1, draw your line. This one would work so well that way. You are ready, I can tell, to try one on your own. I'm very excited about it. Oh, no. How do we calibrate this? Uh, maybe you have your Jack, which one do you want to do? 13! All right, 13. Jack, yeah. don't Jeremy Schwartz. Do number 13. Do number 13. By the way, probably for tomorrow, I will give you a quiz. And I'm going to give you the exact same simultaneous equation. And I'm going to have you solve it all three ways. Once by graphing, once by substitution, once by elimination. You'll get the same answer, you just have to do it. So at least you know what the answer is supposed to be. Yeah, I can make a rust one people. I will try. This thing still doesn't. I'm not taking mine. Oh, better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Maybe I can do this. Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> Let's. I think I can. I think I got an alternate path here. Did it come back? Where's my PDF thing? Oh, there we go. 
Let's go to the Easy change. <laughs> you still get rid of that? 16x minus 10y equals 10, negative 8x minus 6y equals 6. I wonder if this thing just keeps switching places. You should have wrote it that one. Yeah, we're in the midst of writing it down. 16x minus 10y equals 10. It all works. That doesn't sound right. Try again, crisis. Crisis nearly over. Did you get that on the ice? Yeah. Yeah. What do we need? I don't know. Let's do it again. Not right now, David. It'd be my hopes that you multiply the bottom by 2 to get the 16th to drop away. So, uh, maybe now you know what the rest of this experience Answers? Oh my gosh, I'm going to put it in the Just kidding, I got it wrong. It says that it doesn't have to be I don't know. Please go away. You get negative 22 y equals a positive 22. What? Oh, it's one. Wow. See, there's I equals negative one. Oh, I got it right. X oh, yeah. equals zero. Yes. I'm on track. I got it. Okay. X equals 16. Oh, that's one. Negative one in for which one? Okay. Oh, right. so I got it. So you get 16x minus 10 times negative one is actually plus 10. Equals 10. Subtract 10. Subtract 10. You can have a zero over there. 16x divided by 16 divided by 16x does equal zero. Yes. I, I, I can't believe I got that right. I This is much easier than the other side. I got six. Six. Hmm. <laughs> 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 